Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a column for running total in SSRS tabular report. So we will create a tabular report and then we will use a function called running value in SSRS report to add running total. Now let's go to the database and take a look. We have a query here and uh, from this query, we want to run this query and then we have items sold so for this column i want to add a running total one way is that i can add the running total here but i want to use this running total functionality in ssrs so i don't want to use the tsql but i will be creating in the ssrs so let's take this query and now go to the ssdt so sql server data tools before we go here our table is in the sales database so now once we are in the ssdt we know that this uh, uh, data source is shared data source and it is pointing to the sales uh, database so we are good here so we can use that right click on the report add new report new item and create empty report and here we are going to call that report running total report hit add now we have to create a new data source here that will be embedded data source or reference to the existing one right click here so add data source and we will be using the existing one as it is already there why not to use it so hit uh, uh, drop down and then select the sales or data uh, share data source next part I always make this mistake double click and give some proper name so DS sales so this is the name I'm given for this uh, data source that's pointing to the shared data source sales now right click to the data set uh, where we are going to use our query it will be embedded data set so select the data source uh, and then paste your query here once it's done now rename this one as well so we'll call this set sale data sale total that's what we have in the table so that's what i'm going to use it hit ok now here right click and get to the insert and then finally to the table now we have the table and we know that we can drag the fields here or we can click here and then select from here sale first per, uh, sale person first name and then we can select sale person last name and then we can select few more items maybe product name and then finally i don't want to select anything right click here and go to insert column on the right and then select here and we can go ahead and get the sold uh, price that's fine and uh, to get the sold item uh, we can drag it here as well so there are multiple ways uh, to put the values here in the tablex now i'm going to move this one a little bit here so you can see the things and also i'm going to go ahead and add a text box on top of that and we call this one sale report so i do this in every pretty much report why i do that because at one point you will learn it how to use these different items so it's a good idea maybe this is the first video you're watching so we are going to bold italic and give some color so this is it now move this one a little bit up so our report will look good let's see the report now here in the sold item you see one sold item two sold item three and five and all that i want to create a running total so that will give us the number by adding these numbers okay so let's go back here and then we need to add a, another column so right click here and say insert a column on the right now we can go ahead and write whatever we want here we are going to say running total that's the name we get. Uh, or the heading we have given to this uh, column so right click sorry click here and then bold and also uh, I'm going to change the color so change the color looks good so this is how our report will look but we don't have any value here so I'm going to go to designer and now we will go to this cell and right click here and go to expressions that's where we are going to use a function so we are going to go to common functions and then go to let's see aggregate okay so once we are in the aggregate functions we have running value function so click on the running value function most of the time if you're not sure how this function work so you can read the description use a specific function to return a running aggregate of the specific expression an example running value field you have to provide the field and then tell the operation like sum and then at the end you have to provide the group by so uh, let's say you are providing the data set in our case uh, our scope is data 
set so we are doing for the entire data set if you have a different maybe a group or all that you can go ahead and provide that so let's uh, double click on the running value once we click here it shows us also these uh, what we need to provide so expression as object so if you see the example we have to provide the field here so we are going to go to field and then select sold item item sold sorry now the field that one is there we put a comma once we put a comma it is asking us the next thing so the operation we are going to do here that's going to be sum and then i'm going to put a comma here again and the last thing is a scope so scope as a string so when you say string it means this double quotes and in our case we can put d set and then sale total that's our data set name so double quotes here so this is the scope we are telling it and that's it now you're good hit okay and you will see so very first is a one and then one plus two make it three and then three plus three make it six and six plus five make it 11 so it is running total so that's how the you will see the running total and at the end you will have let's say hit this button last page and this is the value we will get so by adding all those values and this is our running total now one more thing if you want to experiment if you want to have a just the total amount at the end as well you can have in different column as well so add total and this is going to give the sum of all those sold items and we can call this one as a maybe total this should be the same what is running total because running total is the adding the numbers for each of the row and keep adding for us but this will be at the end only so let's run this one and compare both of them so let's go to last page and here you see 640 that's the same number because 640 is the number that came from adding all these numbers and the running total also came from the same way so it is add, keep adding the previous and next values for us so here you see one is one and then one and two is added that make it three and then you have a three and three that make it to six and then again six and five so with this value plus uh, the next value will be added and give us a running total thanks very much for watching this video and um, i'm gonna see you in next video